All right, guys, so we have Kristen here. She's all shampooed. Uh, Brian did a great color technique, so we're gonna get started on a haircut. And the great thing about Super Silk and what we've been talking about through the, all these videos is you can use it in every service that you do. So Brian put the Super Silk smoothing solution in his hair color. Now we're gonna add it to the haircut. So easy part about it is you don't have to go through, you don't have to do a ton of sections. You can really just split it into four do a couple sprays from a distance on the hair. So we'll get right into the back, onto the ends. Another couple sprays. There you go, nice. And then right here on the side, spraying it through. So now the Super Silk smoothing solution is on there. It's gonna process through the haircut. So that's the beauty of this is you don't have to take extra time uh, when you're doing somebody's hair to add this process to it. So now we're gonna move into the haircut and then I'll show you guys how to finish off the process. All right, so right before we jump into the haircut, I'm gonna start sectioning, but uh, I wanna really stress that the prep for this is to shampoo the hair twice with the Super Silk Detoxify Shampoo. That's a key part of prepping the hair for the haircut. Once we do that, we put in the rinse out conditioner from Super Silk and uh, run that scalp to ends and that gives it a really nice slip. So as we jump into the haircut, you can see we're doing a nice face frame haircut. So basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling everything across her forehead over to me. So we started on her part side. Uh, so you can see her part is closest to me and I'm just taking diagonal forward sectioning uh, along the head, along the round of the head, and over directing it to me. Now, the reason I'm keeping such a low elevation within this haircut is because I want to, to build up that weight. If I elevate it more, it's gonna remove weight, and Kristen has a very low density of hair. So to give the fullest feel at the end of the haircut, I wanna make sure that I keep a nice low, dent, or low elevation in the haircut. It's a nice top view. You can still see we're working diagonal forward and just over directing everything over. This is a very simple haircut, but I use it nonstop throughout the day in the salon because it works every single time. I know a lot of you will probably have the question of, did we cut the back first? Um, I don't, a lot of times in haircutting, especially in long haircuts, I don't like to cut the perimeter first. I like to do that at the very end when it's dry so that I can really see uh, the ends, I want to make sure the ends look nice and healthy. So I'll go through, cut the foundation of the haircut through the front um, and maybe layer into the back. But then the very perimeter of the haircut, I'll go into later on. So you can see we worked that side. Now we're going to do the same thing pretty much on the opposite side. I'm not over directing it as far uh, across her forehead, more straight out. Uh, that's again, I don't want to over direct it too much and push too much weight because now we're working on the weak side of her head. Uh, but you could see still basically the same elevation uh, and we're working vertical partings. So just a real quick, easy way to tie it into the opposite side. So that is the haircut. Now the great part about Super Silk and what I love uh, adding it to a haircut service is that process the entire time we did the haircut. So while we're, we're cutting the hair, we're working the Super Silk, the Silk amino acids through the hair, and now we're gonna take the Super Silk Pure Indulgence Leave-In Treatment, and we're gonna add that from scalp to ends. And really a generous amount. You, don't, you can't be shy with this product. You want to really get it through the ends um, because that's gonna help with the blow dry process. So I'm gonna continue working the product through with my hands. And then we're gonna move into a nice loose tooth comb. I don't want the teeth to be too wide on the comb because I feel like sometimes that doesn't saturate the product enough on the hair. So I'm just using a nice uh, loose tooth comb, not too tight because you don't want too much tension. Uh, but ha having that leave-in treatment on the hair, there's a lot of slip to it. So it really glides through nice. Um, and once we get that product combed through, we're gonna start our blow dry. Now I'm going to start the blow dry with a paddle brush and the reason I'm choosing a paddle brush is because it's got a good amount of tension but there's a lot of flexibility in the bristles so uh, we're not going in there too strong trying to uh, pull too much tension on the hair but just it's organizing the hair as I blow it dry. Sometimes I feel like if you blow dry with your hand it's just a little too uh, disheveled I guess you could say. 
Um, so I go through with the paddle brush and that seems to work the best. Now you can't do a brush on the full treatment because of the amount of the super silk uh, solution that you're putting on the hair, the, the silk amino acids. The residue is a little bit too strong to have a brush in there. But with the express treatment, you're only doing a few light sprays throughout the hair. Uh, so you can get a brush through it nice and easy. It's really actually a smooth blow dry experience. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. So you can see I'm facing the nozzle down on the blow dry. This is important no matter you're, whether you're doing the full treatment or the express, just keep that nozzle running down the hair shaft. That's what really lays that cuticle down and seals in the treatment. Um, and then we're going to go in and obviously iron it afterwards. So just working around the head, working around the face there, uh, light tension on the hair, but really just getting a nice clean blow dry going. All right, so now we're going to move into the iron work. And this is really the same way that you would smooth out your guest's hair. That's how you're going to do this. It's not complicated, but really I like to start off uh, no matter what. I like to work it off the temple area. And I'm going to take about a quarter inch section, maybe half inch. And I'm going to run two to three passes of the iron over Kristen's hair right now. Um, we're running that iron at 370 degrees. Uh, we don't recommend over 380 degrees for the express treatment. But I know some of you stylists out there, you love your irons hot. So I would just really follow the code of if it's fine or fragile hair, do not go over 370 degrees. If it's a medium texture, uh, wavy to frizzy hair, do 370 degrees with maybe a couple more passes on the hair. And if it's resistant, curly, or very frizzy hair, then go maybe up to 410. But with the express treatment, I don't believe you need to do that. And if they have very resistant, curly, wavy hair, I would recommend the full treatment anyways. So now we're gonna finish up the haircut. We've done the iron work. Our Vibrastreet iron did an excellent job. And we're just going through, you'll see that I cleaned up the ends like I talked about before. Uh, I like to do that dry because I can see them. And now we're going through the face frame, just adding some pieces, doing a little slide cutting, and then back with our Vibra Straight Iron and working it through the hair. So uh, just give a little bend around the face frame. And now we're going to finish it up. You guys can check out the before and after, add a little bit of spray. A little medium hold spray, nothing crazy. So there we go, beautiful, silky, shiny, humidity resistant hair that Kristen can have for the next two to four weeks. She can come back in, get a blow dry, we can overlay it. The more and more you do super silk, the better it gets. There's the before and after. Hope you guys love this treatment as much as we do. Enjoy super silk, thanks.